Francisco Jose Senil was born on December 3rd, 1924 in Rosales, Pangasina, Philippines, and stands at 92 years old. Graduating from the University of Santo Tomas in 1945, he began his writing career, specifically the Rosales Saga, in which it consisted of five novels, Dusk, Tree, My Brother Max Executioner, The Pretenders, and Mass. Cerny details the underpinnings of the Philippine people throughout their history in these works of literature. Back in the 16th century, Spain colonized the Philippines in the name of King Philip II. This is where Spain settled in Manila and the two largest islands, Luzon and Milanao. The people were abused by being forced to build Catholic churches and to convert to Roman Catholicism while being under the encomienda system. This is where Cerny drew inspiration for his novel Dusk emphasizing the cruel relationship between man and state, peasant and ruler, to the journey of an Ilocano man named Istak, where he studied in the churches and gained knowledge that his peers didn't possess. However, he was kicked out due to witnessing the hypocrisy of the church. Thus, his family had to take apart their village and relocate, forcing them to face the social injustice ahead of them. Spanish-American War in 1898 saw the shifting of colonial power from Spain to the U.S., where life in the Philippines had no change, ruled under the interests of foreigners. This led to Dusk theme, where Sandro highlights that man's passion to bring social reform is ultimately futile, because regardless of insurrections against Spain and the U.S., the Philippine people continued to live under abuse. Now, in 1949, Sandro marries his wife, Teresita Jovianos, where he says, quote, perhaps this is what love has always been, whether it's for a woman or for a cause, the readiness to give and not ask for anything in return, the unquestioned willingness to lose everything, even if the loss is as something as precious as life itself, end quote. This inspired Sainil's short story, Three Filipino Women, where three women are torn in their endeavor of opportunism in martial law the Philippines. As martial law has been imposed by Marcos Ferdinand in favor of the oligarchy, which stripped away what little civil rights the people had. Thus, Sarno has witnessed the rise of social amnesia, as the Philippines, after American rule, continues to face social injustice. It is by these historical and personal events that Sarno establishes solidarity, a magazine and bookstore meant to capture current and past affairs and deeds in the arts that is meant for the masses to see and to be cured of the widespread social amnesia. It is no surprise that by these events, Francisco Saino has had his novels translated in over 30 languages and received the Raman Magasese Award for Literature and Journalism in 1980, as well as becoming an officer for the French Order of the Arts and Letters in 2014. Truly fighting against social media that has been corrupting his people this entire time.